ocean conservation, you could argue over the next four or five, over the last four or five, six decades has mostly been focused around either science or scientists going out on research ships and doing research or better understanding the ocean and, and how it's changing. And, and on the other hand, NGOs that have worked to highlight the, the difficulties around seeing this ocean as something that's just plentiful, as something that is a resource that never runs out. Um, and this is kind of the problem. It's it's a resource that is so over exploited that we start seeing the cracks. One could argue that the legacy we are currently leaving behind as an ocean uh, conservation movement is that that legacy is pretty much only existing on paper and that the impact on the ground and the latest research shows that out of those 17,000 areas, about 7% of the oceans protected currently, that only 0.6% have capacity to be managed. So you could argue that, you know, are we being effective as an environmental movement if, if actually over 99% of what we protect on paper isn't protected in reality? So with the Sea Ranger Service, essentially what we've done is we've looked at a very, almost what you could argue initially is an unconnected problem which is that youth unemployment is highest in almost every country bordering the sea, in the port cities and the coastal areas. So what if we were to train young people in those areas in the role of sea rangers to actually help governments manage these kind of areas? And then two problems can essentially act as each other's uh, solution.